After a solid year away from the UFC octagon, Justin Gaethje is dying to get in on the action. Just like any other elite contender, the goal for Gaethje is to reach the pinnacle of his division. His quest will resume when he squares off with Michael Chandler in a featured lightweight bout at UFC 268 next month. Gaethje, of course, is no stranger to championship success. He captured the interim UFC lightweight title against Tony Ferguson in May 2020 after putting up an absolute masterclass. However, Gaethje ran into a brick wall when he faced undisputed champion Khabib Nurmagomedov in a unification match. Although he held his own against the undefeated Dagestani, Nurmagomedov proved to be too much for him to conquer. But despite the massive setback, losing to Habib might actually be the best thing that has ever happened to Gaethje. Sounds insane, doesn't it? But hear us out. Throughout his entire career, Gaethje has always been seen as a careless fighter. In fact, it was his ever-forward fighting style that endeared him to MMA fans in the first place. And while his fearless methods have worked out for him for the most part, it's also led to his demise on a couple of occasions. In back-to-back -back fights years ago, Gaethje was knocked out by Eddie Alvarez and Dustin Poirier, two fighters who are arguably more technical strikers than the highlight. In both instances, his over-eagerness cost Gaethje his consciousness in contests he could have otherwise won. For that reason, Chandler was convinced Gaethje doesn't know any other way to fight but to engage in a high-risk, high-reward brawl. Chandler believes Gaethje lives and dies by the knockout. That theory was held up for the most part until Gaethje decided enough was enough. Fast forward to 2020, Gaethje took on Tony Ferguson, the man everyone believed to be Habib's kryptonite. Unbeknownst to Ferguson, he'll be facing a new and improved version of Gaethje, one who no longer relies solely on his ungodly power to win. This version of Gaethje no longer fought fire with fire at all costs. Through five rounds, Gaethje remained patient and picked his shots carefully. The result was astounding. Gaethje landed 143 significant strikes and landed at an insanely efficient rate of 72%. He also became the first fighter to stop Ferguson by TKO. No one ever doubts how durable El Kukoy is, but against Gaethje, Ferguson looked absolutely helpless and was reduced to a bloody mess by the end of the fight. Then again, Gaethje fell short against Khabib. After being choked out by the Eagle, Gaethje revealed that the loss hurt him more than any other setback he had suffered in his career. Gaethje is convinced that Khabib's fortitude and determination were so immense that he didn't see himself winning no matter how well he fought. That loss was a valuable experience for any fighter of Gaethje's caliber. It was the MMA equivalent of trauma that turns an innocent child into a crime-fighting vigilante in the comic books. With his newfound grit and his ever-improving technical proficiency, Justin Gaethje could be the scariest fighter in the talent-rich UFC lightweight division.